And this animation here is actually so easy, but I think effective. And it's all done in Fusion, so stick around. In this video, I'll show you three of the most used text animations, what mistakes beginners do and how to actually make these. So the first mistake that beginners make when they're animating text, they just add one keyframe, then go a few frames in and just add another one. My job here is done. But it isn't. So go into the effects, add in a text plus file, call it whatever you want, then go into settings, a few frames in, add a keyframe for position, then in the beginning, move the text outside of the frame, then go into the keyframes panel, I'll zoom in a little bit by scrolling on my wheel and pressing option, then I'll select both just press here on the ease in and out button. Here in this drop down menu, we have a few options, but easing in and out is perfect for this situation. By using these handles, you can make different types of, anim of custom animations like this one. But still, if you want to level up and go a little bit further, which I think you should, you can go into the fusion page. Again, go a few frames in under layout, animate the center Y position for this particular animation, set a keyframe, go to the beginning, go out of frame, make sure you are out of frame, then open up the spline panel and then hit on zoom to fit, select all keyframes from here, then right click anywhere here and under ease, choose any of these options. I highly recommend you go through them by yourself. But this website right here gives you a visual representation of what you get with each option. So now we have this same animation inside. But at why I made you go to Fusion? First, Fusion is not that scary. And second, Motion Blur. Go to Settings and select Motion Blur. The simple checkbox makes all the difference. Just take a look. For mistake number two is trying the elastic or bouncy effect manually. And what I mean by that is adding keyframes manually and animating manually. I'll just drag and drop another text plus. I'll go into Fusion. Here I will make my text. Then under Layout again, I'll right click on Size, Modify Width, Anim Curves. Go to the Modifiers. Here under curve shape, I would want easing and then an out shape of elastic. And this is the result. Right off the bat, this looks good. And I didn't even have to set one, even one keyframe, you know, but of course we can adjust this animation further. Again, open up your spline if it isn't open already. Check this box over here, fit to zoom fit to zoom better. That was a glitch. Then this is the elastic movement. Basically, these are the keyframes. But to make it go quicker or slower, we have to use the timing options over here. So if we increase this number from here, we make the animation faster. Or if we decrease it, we make it longer. The offset means where exactly it starts further in or at the very beginning of the fusion composition. And mistake number three is using this guy over here, the right on in the inspector. Now, this is not necessarily bad. I love this guy. It's very convenient, but it's limited. It has its purpose. For example, when you're trying to replicate a typewriter. Perfect. But I highly recommend you go into the Fusion tab again. So I'll start from scratch. So I'll drag another text plus go into the Fusion page. Then on this text box over here, I will right click and select follower. Then go into the modifier and then go to shading. Now I know it's not very uh, intuitive to go to shading to make these animations, but that's how they make it. We'll go back to timing in a second. So 
maybe around the 20th frame i'll set a keyframe for the opacity and one for the offset don't mind this path over here go back to follower then go to the first frame decrease the opacity and set this x value to minus 0 0.5 then go to timing left to right and let's give it a delay of two we can change that later then go into the spline i have it opened here i will select both right click and out cubic and let's see the effect perfect just like that please don't tell me this this was too much steps for you please if you want to level up your game you have to be making these stuff in fusion i'm just lazy now before i show you this next trick i would be very happy if you subscribe as we are on the road to one million subscribers yeah that sounds about right so now i will show you how to go around the earth like this for this animation i will use a fusion composition which you just right click and create new fusion composition i have mine over here then I'll go to the Fusion tab, I'll add in a background node, make it transparent. Then I have my PNG of Earth, Mother Earth over here and I'll connect it. Obviously it's too big, it needs a transform node and it needs a little bit of resizing. Then I will add my uh, text layer, text layer, text node, this is not After Effects. Then under layout, instead of point, we'll switch to circle. Like, and just like this. And then I'll make the circle smaller. That looks fine. Then to rotate this whole thing, we have to animate the Z value. Right click and modify width, anim curves, go back to modifier, instead of linear, ease, then I'll say, sign and elastic at the very end and of course let's not forget to add in the motion blur so go back to tools settings motion blur and this is the effect with the tiny little wiggle at the end genius so these are the mistakes that I think beginners make, but hopefully this was interesting and helpful. Now, if you're in the mood, go ahead and click on this video right here. Oh.